Hi, 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 hi. Welcome back to part two of the Helmut Schmidt program scholarship that is being offered by DAD for public policy and good governance. Um, I recommend that if you have not watched part one, please do watch part one to be able to understand what we are going to speak here. But basically, I've explained how to get here using part one. So today, what we are going to do is to use an example of a school and what the application process looks like and probably answer certain questions um, that you have on your way through the scholarship. If you're here for the first time, please do subscribe. And if you've been here with us and you've watched part one, you are the real MVP. Now straight into the scholarship. Now on this platform, in this link that is provided in the description box, now click right on here, more details. So when it comes to more details, um, I've explained what this platform all all means. So I'll quickly um, go through it uh, where you would have the application form here. Now this is the application form that is given by DAD um, to fill it up. Now one thing you need to note is that when you fill this application form you do not have to send it to DAD directly but your school or whichever school that you're applying in for under the DAD you will need to attach this DAD form. Now this DAD form provides certain details that you would have to fill in. Please do read it carefully and um, this DAD form is usually uh, used for a lot of DAD scholarships. So I've explained how to fill this form and certain details you need to look out for using this particular video in the suggestion box you see on top here and I'm going to also click it down there. Now basically that form where I explained it was used for a different part of DAD um, scholarship which was called DAD EPOS but this is DAD Hemel Schmidt but the form is still the same. So you can just watch it and fill the details as and when you need it. Um, so this was me trying to explain or show you how the DAD form looks like. Now let's see where you might need their DAD form. So right back on this uh, platform, um, you can go straight to application procedure. Now the application procedure will ask you to choose the particular country where you're applying for. If you have followed me for a while, you know that I all am from Ghana. So I always use Ghana as a platform um, to show you what uh, the application process looks like. What country are you from? And if you choose it, you come back here, go over here to graduate then now show application procedure I'm pretty sure that application procedure might vary slightly a bit uh, from different different countries but I don't think there'll be a very vast um, difference now you will click here for please check the call for the application which is here so when you have a click on that you download the file and you open it now when you open it i've explained detail in plot one what this whole form looks like but basically if you want to apply for a particular course that is assigned to your country you scroll down here and all the courses and the schools comes with it so for Ghanaian applicants if you're applying for your available master's degree that is available to us is um, the Hoshu Bonrien CH uh, which is analysis and design of social protection systems um, and they've provided a, um, a hyperlink and this hyperlink will lead you straight into the scholarship and into the school scholarship directly with that. Now they've given us um, a course like Master of Development Governance and Master of Public Co Policy. I'm sure for different countries there might be different um, courses available to you but there are still um, these hyperlinks where you can create and go. Instead of going straight onto the school's platform and getting all confused, I think this is a great measure and a great place to um, start the application process. So let's quickly use one of the universities um, as an example to apply for uh, this scholarship. Randomly, I'm going to use the Willie Brandt School of Public Policy at University of Erfurt. So you click on the link here. It takes you to the website and it brings you to apply now. Quite easier process, isn't it? So when you come here, it gives you all the details about the scholarship and um, I mean the application process for the university and the course itself. Um, and I figured that dad would be at the scholarship session. So I just moved here and tada, I came. Now, because they have an alliance with the university, um, aside our other programs that support funding, um, 
they actually feature it on their website so it should be quite easy to actually see it now if you're from europe central asia canada or us or australia new zealand you're watching now there's another scholarship here for you so since we are interested in the hemel schmidt program i would quickly um, go to um, the online application portal here now when you go to the online application portal it redirects you to another page of the university then obviously what do you do you would have to fill in your details to register like I always do I'm gonna use um, some details to fill out um, just so we can see um, what is on the next so please do bear with me whilst you're watching um, obviously here is quite an easier process so um, you shouldn't struggle through this process um, as well so when you open the Wiley Brandt School of Public Policy you'll be allowed to put your bio data which you can proceed with that and you're gonna get an email um, to to confirm to continue so I'll quickly go into my email to confirm to continue then I'll bring you back the rest after confirming in your email tada you're brought to this platform so you realize that I've got my details here was he saying that um, while working on your application please read the information carefully now it's saying that um, you can check for the dates and deadlines with Master of Public Health with Hemel Schmidt and the requirement for Hemel Schmidt so you see that they've still categorically stated um, the the Hemel Schmidt scholarship now when you come here this is for the deadline you realize that it says that application for the Hemel Schmidt for intake in October 20 will open from June 1st until June July 31st and you would use this online platform to do it um, so as now um, it's yet to open so if you're watching this video before June 1st or after June 1st just um, please note um, the date so it's going to open within a short while so for like a uh, two months so you will need to gather a lot of things all together so that you can be prepared now i clicked on the requirement needed and what is it asking for the dart application form and we come back to that a curriculum vita which is your cv preferably an academic cv a statement of purpose to be able to explain now let's say that please submit a personal statement of purpose hand signed not handwritten you you type it then you sign it with your hand and scan it date it and then upload it onto the online uh, application the letter should not exceed two pages if you selected only if you have selected only one of the possible study programs or university please elaborate on this choice if you have selected two options please discuss your academic or professional reasons behind your selection for both study programs now you will need a diploma your diploma your degree certificates and transcripts and things to note is that simple hard copies of diplomas and certificates cannot be accepted a certified true copy is the copy that they need offering a photocopy of that and you will need to have an endorsement and a stamp and your certificate should be as a proof for this document being a true copy of the primary document so certified true copies can be obtained for German embassies consulate or other official authorities in your country of residence so please check with your German embassy take your transcript there for them to certify now tell them that you're applying for Hemel Schmidt because they've run those kind of programs for a long time they know how to go about that now you need a proof of your professional experience um, so please do read what they require of you and make um, note of that now you need a letter of recommendation which is very important now they're saying all applicants must be accompanied by one letter of recommendation signed and recently dated by your university professor or current employer supplemented by an official letterhead and stamp referee can only use the broad schools recommendation form here so you download this form 
give it to your professor for them to fill it and tell them about the scholarship now uh, you will need to provide the referee's name institution email addresses within the online applications because they are going to contact them now please note that either way reference letters should have arrived within two weeks after the application deadline so there's still um, a gap period so if the application deadline is ending in the 31st of July um, you have up to two weeks to provide that now on a very important part which I know it's quite difficult to get through now if you've got a, they need an English proficiency so if you've got TOEFL internet they need a minimum of 90 points please do find out how to get that academic um, IELTS um, a minimum of 6.5 or one of these following English certificates if you do have it you can do that now they are saying that as usual center-based test appointment for both TOEFL and IELTS tests are currently unavailable in many countries due to the ongoing pandemic the Brad will on to further notice also accept the online versions of these two tests which allow you to do the test online from home and to book appointment on rather short notice please inform yourself well on this respective website on the fees the necessary hardware the microphones the headphones the camera and the computer and other prerequisites to be able to write the test then last but not the least but very important is the copy of your passport you will need both sides of your passport photocopy and given onto them So particularly for Willy Brandt School, it's starting on the June 1st, so do check on by June 1st whether this portal is open, but like I said, there are other universities that are running um, this system as well um, on the particular courses you want to do. So this is just a video to provide you the step-by-step -step process on how to um, get right from here to there. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please, if you do have any questions, please put in the description box and we are going to use our wide range of um, connections and friends who have uh, had to apply for this scholarship to explain or to explain wh whatever um, you don't understand in the process um, so what particular country are you applying for and what courses are specific to it um, it will be great to also share ideas as to um, what's quite different on your application process um, so that we can help each other so uh, thank you so much for watching this please do subscribe before you leave here for more notifications of videos on scholarships to help you and show you that you can do this application all by yourself until same time another scholarships bye